Hey guys, welcome back to a new video in our underweight testing playlist. Now, in this video, we'll do two things, which are creating our absurd note use case and test it, and also add note view model and test it as well. So let's get started with it. Now let's go to our package, which is the root package, of course, not in core, but in the root package right here, create a new one called add note for the add note future. Here, we want to create a new one actually called domain.use case, in which we will have our absurd note use case okay that's going to be a class here i'm missing a p and then we'll have a suspend fun actually suspend operator fun invoke okay we won't implement it until we test it but anyway our use case needs an instance of my private vol node repository since that's exactly where i'm going to insert or upsource my note let's create some space down here which are the title of my note of type string and then description of type string as well and then the image url of type string so these are the things that we need we could bring this to new lines like this and then this one returns a boolean whether the note is inserted or not so if it's inserted that's it we navigate back to our home screen if not we show the user a toast that the note information is invalid so an invalid title an invalid description or so okay so that's it now we want to create a test actually for it so right click generate test okay it's going to be a unit test of course and here is the test want to delete this and i would actually like to stay consistent and name this one just absurd note not absurd note use case that's going to be the same with this file or this class now i also want to actually provide this one so in my core di right here i need to provide it okay so that's going to be provide um, absurd note use case so absurd note use case here absurd note absurd note okay and uh, yeah, I also need to provide it in the test app module. So in my Android, where is that? Right here, core DI, I need to provide it here as well. And that's it. Now in my test, I need the same things as always, which are these things, which we already saw. So let's just get some space. For every test, we need these things actually. So the main coroutine rule, the instant task executor rule, and our fake repository that we want to insert to. Now I want to create an instance of my uh, use case itself, private var well, absurd note use case like this. And then in the before, you want to set up all those stuff. So fun setup like this. It's already auto-completing for me. Actually, if you don't know what this auto-complete is, it's the new Gemini auto-complete that just wrote these two lines for me. If you update your Android to the latest version, try updating to the latest version, you can go to settings here and tools as you can see gemini and just enable this ai baseline code completion okay so that auto completes for you but i would suggest when you are learning testing to not actually make that enabled you don't want gemini to be auto completing stuff for you because it will actually auto complete the right things but you better do it yourself until you are comfortable then you can just enable it because it saves a lot of time but at first, don't do it because you're learning. You need to do these things by yourself, okay? And now that's it, let's run, uh, let's write our tests. So add test fun. What is the first test is going to be about? So the use cases that we have in here is that we don't want a note with a, an empty title. We don't want a note with an empty description, okay? It's okay to have an empty image. We might not have an empty image, but it's not okay to have one of these empty. This is what I think, but you can have a note with a title, but with no description if you want to. But in my case, I want both of them to be available, okay? So if one of them is not available, then my note is not good. So let's test that. So absurd note with empty title, and it should return false. So returns, return false, whatever, okay? This is going to be run test since we need a quality scope for that because this function is a spent function. So var is going to be is absurd or inserted is inserted is going to be my absurd note use case dot invoke. So I want an empty title. So that means the title is going to be empty, but description is going to be something like this description. Okay, we could name these so that we can actually see what they are. So description like this so the image url as well is needed so image url can be image or anything okay now i want to assert that it's actually inserted so assert 
that imported I, I mean it's not inserted I'm sorry so assert that is inserted dot is false so this has to be false okay but the test will fail because the function isn't implemented yet all right now before implementing our function let's write all the tests so just copy this again for empty description and then the last thing is note or absurd a valid note okay so yeah the note is valid returns true that the note is inserted so what we need here is just a description like this return is inserted is now true because it needs to return true as you can see so these are all my test cases let's run them they all will fail because now we need to implement our function that is going to be if my title dot is empty or description dot is empty then return false otherwise i can actually implement my function so that's going to be val note is going to be a note let's extract our note item like this all we need is the date added that's what we're missing here so date added is going to be system dot current time in milli so this is the date it was added in and then we want to absurd it so note repository dot absurd note pass in my note and then return true so this one will just absurd it into my database but in testing into that fake database i have in my fake repository okay now let's run all these tests again if one of them doesn't pass we'll see what the problem is let's wait they all passed the use case is fine that's it that is it let's create now the view model so this is now my absurd note use case we want to create the view model so right here a new package called presentation and we'll create the add note view model that is a held view model and we need of course to inject the constructor like this import inject constructor and this extends view model from lifecycle okay this one now needs let's just create some space so it needs private var absurd note use case okay so this one but now i also have the states i have a bunch of states let's check the app open it so what states i have the image state but uh, of course we won't implement the image yet I have the title state, I have the description state. So these are three different states. But then I also have is dialog showing state, I have the search query state, I have this progress bar showing state. So I have a bunch of states. I'm going to paste them, but then we won't use all of them because we don't care about images yet. So right here, let me just fix the package name and here as well. As you can see, the image URL state. The title state description state is image dialog showing state so is it showing or not the image list that we just searched for or we got from the api the searched query state so the query that we searched for and is loading image showing or that progress bar so if this is true we show that progress indicator and then the actions the user can do they can update the title to a new title update this description to a new description update the image search query so the the query that they're trying to search for in the image update the image they pick when they click on the image so we want to update the image url we want to update our dialog or image dialog visibility so when we want to show it or hide it and then we want to save the notes so these are the six actions a user can do right here okay here we need now our state which is private add private val add note state that is going to be a mutable state flow of my add note state not action but add note state this one okay now create the public version add node state like this dot as state flow we need a channel for if i showed you that in the app but if we click on save with nothing we show a little toast that says invalid input all right we need a channel for that so private of our node saved channel that is going to be a channel of type boolean okay let's import channel and then the public version node save channel which is my underscore node save channel receive as flow. Of course, this is a flow, not exactly a channel. So we could say node save maybe flow. That's what it is. Fun on actions. So the actions the user can do or on event, whatever, will have an action that is add node actions. That's what it's called. And then when my action is, I have a bunch of actions, which are six actions. Let's just bring the images once to the bottom because they don't matter for me right now. So all these 
to the bottom there as well with the save one so let's put it in the bottom now these two actually are the important to me for now also the save for these we'll implement them later okay for updating and description let's put the title first i suppose that's going to be better so for updating title that's going to be add no state dot update or it dot copy title is action dot new title that's what it's called copy this for this one this is going to be description new description don't worry about images stuff but let's worry about save note okay right here we create a function called suspend fun absurd note that takes things like description title and image url string this returns a boolean that is it saved or not and that's it now i want to write the test case for this function before actually implementing it so generate test that is going to be a unit local to, or a local unit test remove this and in here we need to set up some things which are these again for every test that we have so we need add notes view model we need our fake repository and then these two rules we already know why we need them we need to initialize our fake repository and then we also need another thing which is private list and it's of our absurd note use case which is actually needed for the view model so absurd note use case is going to be absurd note use case we want to pass our fake repository and then initialize our view models so add note view model is going to be add note view model passing my absurd note use case so that's all i need to set up now let's write the test for that function which is for insertion so add test fun the first thing i want to test is is amos going to be like my my use case so you just copy them from there to save some time the tests i'm going to write are exactly these but i want to make sure that they work in the view model so i'm just paste them here and it's fix any errors that we could have now we're not trying to test the use case itself that's why probably i'm going to write here var because i don't need the use case anywhere else i only need here my view model so that's going to be my add note view model dot absurd note okay and let's just copy this and then this one as well so this is for absurding a note with an empty title it should return false this is for absurding a note with an empty description it should return false this is for absurding a valid note it should return true now the test of course will fail because the function is not implemented so let's wait for it Tests fail right here now let's implement the test this is going to be return not true but absurd note use case dot invoke and title is title description is description image url is image url now let's run the tests again and see if they are going to fail or not nope everything works fine and the reason why this advanced until idle even though i use coroutines in here is because this one is a suspend function by itself it doesn't launch a new view model scope okay it will run in the this, uh, the context we actually call it in but if it did have a view model scope like for example this one then we need to call that so that's the difference here okay so even though we created it right here we don't actually need it maybe we don't also need it in here i'm not sure yeah we don't actually need it here as well so we can delete that we don't need this rule delete that and we can rerun our test make sure that they still run without that rule yeah as you can see the same could be for the absurd no test they still run without that rule in a way now we want to go ahead we, we know that the function is working after implementing it then we want to create a view model scope so view model scope dot launch let's actually import that import launch as well so it's going to be var is saved is going to be absurd note and passing all those okay and then after saving it or not i want to send the an event with my channel which is this note save channel dot send is saved so so when it's saved when this one is true then this one sends true my ui knows that it's saved i just go back to the note list screen or the home screen if it's not saved then it show a toast and we can see that i probably already showed you that so we show this toast okay that's why we do this now we've created our view model and we also created our absurd use case and we tested those and that's it for this video and the next video will start setting up retrofit and our API for images. So see you and bye.